Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new video. I'm joined today by Andy is Yoda. Hi, how you doing, Wells Knight? Pretty good. Thanks for having me, man. So, no, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it was fun. So Andy invited me to join him on his server uh, to help him build a little bit of a village gatehouse. Andy and I actually are old friends. We go back quite a ways, and we kind of haven't just we just haven't done anything together for a while, and we figured it was time to. To just kind of link up again and, and do a video together. So we're building a, a village gatehouse. What can you tell me about this little village project that you're working on, Andy? Well, this village project is a bit of a series for me that's been pretty successful. I've taken every build in the village so far and renovated it or transformed it. But, you know, people in my comments were saying, add a gatehouse, add a wall. And I thought, I know someone who knows a bit about building kind of the medieval rustic kind of style and could help me out here. Yeah, a thing or two. <laughs> so the the interesting challenge about this build uh, is that one of your goals with this village is basically to make everything look kind of simplistic in a way, kind of like it could be part of the natural world generation. So yeah, Mojangy. Yeah, Mojangy. So we're trying as two builders who like to put a lot of detail into things. We're this we're, is true. We're kind of trying to almost limit ourselves in that way. Um, which is why you're not going to see us go super overboard. But we've got kind of a – we got the walls in place here. We're working on a gatehouse. We decided to go with two kind of block uh, – two boxy towers, if now, you they will. They were seven by – seven. no, eight by eight. Eight by eight. Uh, eight. I think we started eight by seven eight. by seven, and then since the wall had even dimensions, we decided to make it eight by eight instead. That's probably my fault. Oftentimes in Minecraft, you don't want to build in even numbers, do you? But for some reason, my wall is uh, – Two bricks wide in the middle, making it four overall. Never mind. Well, I've always said that you're fine to go even or you're fine to go odd. You just don't want to mix and match them in the same build. <laughs> Fair enough. So so we're putting a little bit of detail into the walls, uh, the towers at the front here, and uh, it's starting to look okay. Yeah, it's starting to come together. We've got a little bit of depth in there. We don't want to go overboard and do all sorts of crazy stuff, but we want to get at least a little bit of something in there because uh, just plain old flat walls wouldn't work. I was trying a couple little things there. Uh, to to mix a little bit more, and I decided that I didn't like it. It was turning out to look like an H. Yeah, it's it's tough actually with these big uh, eight by eight squares to make them look decent. You have to add just a smidgen of detail, not too much, not too little. And uh, I'm adding some little stairs, stone brick stairs, I think, to make them uh, kind of slope in these little indents. And then you're changing the corners here, I think. Yeah, I'm taking the uh, some bits out of the corners. I'm filling those in with cobblestone walls instead to give a, just a little bit of uh, difference there in the depth in the corners. Depth and there. variety, I mm -hmm. think. I did like the choice you made, because um, this was your idea, that little simple wooden roof in the middle between the towers, because that kind of echoes the simple wooden roofs that we've got in, in the rest of the village, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's actually where I got the idea, was looking around the village. You can kind of see it a little bit in the very background, uh, and you'll see a closer up of that later on in the video. But we were just kind of looking at the block palette and the style that you'd already been building, and I said, hey, this should have a wooden roof on it. And then you, I think it was your idea to add the little, uh, like the little lip around the base of the tower with the stairs. The little lip at the bottom, I think, kind of adds a bit of... I'm sort of feeling a strength and uh, structure to the build as well. But um, I don't know if I can give a, sh a shout out to uh, my server here because you can actually come and visit this village. As yeah, absolutely. Village. Absolutely. Uh, so we'll put the links to that down in the descriptions of these videos. And uh, you can come on to Warp Village and, and see it actually close up and get some inspiration from some of the other builds as well. For sure. You were taking the charge of this uh, roof here, I think. Yeah, I decided to go with the roof. Once again, I kind of wanted to go with that simple sloping oak roof like you had in the rest of the village. Uh, and I, I'm the goal is to just have both the towers be identical. So we kind of tried a few different things, just building up to a point. Uh, even numbers, which kind of comes back to bite us later, but eh, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, so the, the roof meets at the top um, without a, a gap. Which is which is okay. It kind of looks okay, I think. And then we had a uh, floor as well. Yep, filling that I in. Think I put some and crenellations we, here. Yeah, we kind of experimented with some crenellations, some different ideas, and I think we settled on some stairs and then half slabs. Yeah, there we go. Ha oh, that's right. Did we manage to put those stairs all the way around on both sides? I guess we did. I can't remember now. Yeah, we oh, did. Torches. We did all the way helps. around. Yep, light it up a little bit. 
And then one thing we did miss out was some stairs. So if you're kind of doing this yourself, building up some towers, don't do what we did and forget the stairs, the, the route up. <laughs> yeah, or even a ladder. Like right now, you have to be Superman to reach the top of the tower. Uh, That's true. So That's true. <laughs> add something. <laughs> add, add some way to actually get up there. Absolutely. So then you're going to copy and paste this, I think, yep. across here. You're selecting the points. So we're cheating a little bit. Now, you don't normally cheat, don't you? You're like a survival expert. You do it block by block. <laughs> Generally, yeah. When I build in creative, I'm happy to use world edit and stuff like that. But most of my stuff that I do is in survival. So um, it's nice to have that world edit open to me. <laughs> It's so impressive that you build in survival. Honestly, it drives me absolutely crazy. I don't know how you do it, but uh, the results are, I guess, a bit more satisfying when you've had to mine all those resources or craft them yourself. Yeah, definitely. I think that's what it all comes down to is just that that kind of feeling of triumph you get at the end where you're like, wow, I really had to work to get, to get this done. But here we're kind of working on the gate, uh, and the gate was... A chicken. Say, There's a chicken. There is a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the gate was probably the hardest part of this build, just trying to figure out what we were going to do. We uh, spent ages trying to get this right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Tried some spruce logs with, like, uh, some fences there. It's kind of like a portcullis, and then we decided we didn't like that. So do you then, know what was tricky here? The, the odd number. <laughs> yeah. Because if you want to make two doors, you want to make the doors even. But if you have an odd number... We had a gap of five. Mm -hmm. So would you make one door three, one door two? Yep. That's why we were struggling here. So I think we went for portcullises in the end. Yeah, I thought about maybe just door. doing one giant swing. <laughs> and then I was like, no, nope. that looks no. no. <laughs> and then diagonal doors. Yep. And, oh, my goodness. And finally, we just I just killed it with fire and got rid of it. <laughs> and I think we finally settled on just a, just a pretty standard portcullis, um, which I think works. I think that... And then what did I put in the ground underneath? Because I'm about to place some blocks in the ground. Was it droppers or something facing up the way? I think it was way? dispensers or droppers dispensers? or something. Yeah, facing mm. up. With, with um, the hole. Yeah. yeah, and I thought that worked really well because, you know, in... Spikes could go down, right? Yeah, yeah. with some realism, the portcullis would have to have something to fall into to secure it. So I think that makes sense. And then we're kind of going around just adding some, some finishing details, uh, swapping out some of those blocks for polished andesite and... Uh, yeah. I think we do a little bit of landscaping and stuff. We do experiment that's a little right. bit with some flags and banners. Oh, uh, I've forgotten about this. Yeah, so we're adding detail. You know, the last 10% of the build usually takes 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. But Very true. I think I went for like a giant banner, and then you realized you could craft some actual blue and green banners. Yeah, we tried. Well, first we tried blue. flags, which I didn't like because we didn't have a single point on each tower to put them on. Um, since we went odd, uh, even numbers. Oh, that's so right. So we were kind of looking at it and going, yeah, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I quite like those off-center flags, I have to admit. Yeah. I might I, sneakily put them back. I don't yeah, know. Go for <laughs> it. They just weren't doing it for me. I don't know what it was, but um, ultimately we got rid of those. And then, as you said, you you did some banner stuff on the, the far tower using wool blocks, and I used my incredible survival skills to make some banner banners just plain old regular the crafting minecraft table. here we go crafting yep. table <laughs> he's up to his old tricks again yep there i am crafting away and just simple banners and i went we went with those colors because those are the colors that are kind of used for flags and banners throughout the rest of the village so um i'm not especially yeah, attached. cyan and lime i think is what yep cyan and lime i'm not especially attached to those colors they're not personal favorites of mine or anything like that we're just going with those because that's what you find throughout the rest of the village so um, and then you, oh, you should have kept that Very flag. Cool. <laughs> <Very cool. laughs> I like that I think flag. I, put a, I put, put a tree in here, I think, at some, some point, tidy up the paths. But man, this is a cool project and an absolute honor to be working with Wells Night Gaming on, on such a cool project. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We're good. We still got a little bit of landscaping left to do. I think I'm putting some coarse dirt uh, down towards the gate. And then I think I'm mixing a little bit of jungle wood as well, just to kind of give it that that feeling like if you're walking through the gate, that particular part of the path is the part that everybody walks through and it's kind of muddy and worn down and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I thought that was a really cool detail. Um, I'm, I'm not done with this village as well. A lot of people in uh, my videos are putting comments, what, what, do we, what do we want to add to this village? So I think I'm going to go for a, a crane and a dock next. And that seems very popular. Yeah, that there would be we cool. Go. That would be cool. We still got bone meal and all sorts of stuff too. 
Um, just some, some, oh, that's right. yeah. some bone meal spam and some tidying up the landscape and stuff like that. Once we're all ready to go and, and finish with the project, you'll see us do a nice pan over the village. Uh, we'll be able to wrap stuff up. We still got a little bit of landscaping left. Landscaping is such an important part of just any build. Um, I, mean, I wanted to make the path come down gradually as well, but you're right. Landscaping is desperately, desperately important. It really frames what you've built. Oh, absolutely. It? Absolutely. I mean, you could build one of the nicest structures in the world, but if it's just sitting there on a flat world, um, uh -uh. it's just not going to look as good. It's a cool location for the village. What do you think? It's kind of surrounded by cliffs. It's got sea on one side. I thought it was just a, a very defensible village location. Yeah, that I agree. Cool. I agree. There's I think powers. it's a, Oh my goodness. Yeah, it stands out. It's nice. I think it's a good look. And it's pretty simple too. I mean, it, it maybe the final product looks a little bit complicated for some people, but all in all, it's just basically boxes and a couple minor block replacements. <laughs> so It is. Just boxes and, 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 and just replacements of the corners and then indentations and a bit of extra detail. That is looking cool. Yeah. What shaders are you using for this? This Cuda. is awesome. I'm using Cuda. Cuda I shaders. Actually, the same as me then. I actually use the old Cuda. Cuda version 5.0.3. They changed. I sometimes go back to that. Yeah. yeah. They changed it. But here we've got us panning over the village, looking at the final product. Andy, I want to thank you for uh, having me. This was a lot of fun. This was an no, absolute blast. No, thanks for coming and helping me. I couldn't have done this without you. This is just inspiring and uh, great, great fun. For sure. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. I'll we'll have links down in the description to Andy and Andy's channel and Andy's server and all the important pertinent stuff uh, so you can check this out. Also, Andy, you're doing uh, a, your own video of this, but kind of from a different perspective and with different commentary, right? Different commentary, slightly different editing, um, and then I'll be adding on, a, I think, a crane into that video uh, as well on the other end of the village to get your goods up from the sea. But, yep. But... Uh, Check out that. An epic sweep through the brand new village <laughs> this is gate. This nicely edited, dude. <laughs> nicely edited. Oh, my word. Nice little camera pan in there. First time using oh, the well replay done. mod. I think it. I think I'm going to be using it a lot more. Me. So good. But <laughs> it yeah. is good. It oh, is. man. That village looks gorgeous, man. Looks absolutely Thank gorgeous. You. Anyway, guys, that is all the time that we have for this one. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.